I'm Pedro Santiago. I was born and raised in the Bronx, and I was actually a participant of the Cool Rules program last year, and I became a supervisor. We are applying a reflective white coating on the black rooftop that's gonna make the building cooler and in turn save the residents tons of money on electricity and make them feel more comfortable because the building is cooler. So, cool roofs, you know, we're helping the people and the environment at the same time. So. The Cool Roofs Project is one of the uh, strategies we're using to combat extreme heat here in New York City. Basically, we're uh, painting roofs white with a special coating in order to create more reflective surfaces around the city. It helps to bring temperatures down inside the building, and it also helps to uh, bring ambient temperatures down. So basically, it creates a cooling effect across, this, across heat vulnerable neighborhoods. This is a temperature reader. We usually use it to prove uh, how much we're cooling the rooftop. And if you look at the reading, it's 118 degrees right now on the regular rooftop. And when I move it to, to our coating, it goes down to 72 degrees. So it's about a 30, 30 degree difference. We've already covered 10 million square feet of rooftop. Um, and over the past three years, actually, uh, we've introduced this as a workforce program. Uh, so we've had over 200 participants who are now learning the skills that's necessary to actually operate on a construction site. Uh, our goal is to uh, annually do a million square feet of rooftops uh, up to 2025. We see that this program will continue uh, beyond. I learned about this program uh, through a friend of mine and I decided to participate because um, I thought it was a great way to get involved with um, climate change and construction. I feel really great about participating in this Cool Roof project. I think that more people should get involved. I love the teamwork, I love the environment, I love everything about it. You get dirty. <laughs> This is one of the buildings that Banana Kelly owns. The main thing that the organization does is to provide housing. I am gonna pay attention. I'm gonna pay attention to my air conditioning bills. I'm gonna look at this year's air conditioning bills as opposed to last year's air conditioning bills and to see what the difference is because I know there will be one. We're very lucky here in New York City to have the UN as our neighbor. We work with the UN closely and are excited to share the lessons that we're learning with other UN member countries. 